Hello and welcome back. Today in this video, I'm going to explain you what exactly a drawdown is. I made two videos on drawdown. In one, I'm going to explain you the fundamental of drawdown and then I'm going to tell you how to calculate drawdown in Excel. So I made here almost four to five ways, I think four ways of calculating drawdown. And as you can see here, all the value of drawdown is same here, whatever approach you are um, you know, using, but the drawdown has to be same. Right? As you can see here, all the drawdowns are same here. So I'm going to explain you how to calculate in different way. In another videos, I made how to calculate drawdown in Python function. Okay, and uh, and you know how to use that. So here in this video, I'm going to explain you what exactly a drawdown is, so that you will have a very uh, fundamental way of understanding of the drawdown. So that when you are adding drawdown, is one of the parameter to understand your um, you know strategy or your um, trading uh, portfolios. So that uh, you know you you can explain it and you can explain the whole thing in a, in a better way. All right, cool. Uh, look, so what, by coming to the definition of drawdown, if you see the definition is definitely a drawdown is a peak to through decline during a specific period, right? Now, this is the book is de definition, but if you see the definition of mine, what I have written is the percentage of reducing in total equity value from the all time peak till that period. Okay, so what exactly it means is now let's say here, okay, take an example. I, I have taken these two picture for, for your simplicity. Now here, if you see what exactly is happening now, this is my, um, you know, this is my peak here. This is my peak and this is my value or you can say the reducing in my equity value, right? Now, this difference is basically called the drawdown nothing else it's a very simple thing now the point is when when you keep adding the value when your equity value is keep adding day by day or month by month obviously it will keep moving and then when it will cross your previous peak then obviously there will be a new peak and the the when it is going down your equity values so obviously the you know the, the this peak will no more into the picture now the this peak is into the picture so basically what is happening is a kind of when if some someone is telling my draw, drawdown is five percent it means that my let, let's say someone is saying five percent of my uh, drawdown is maximum uh, sorry uh, my max drawdown is five percent it means that uh, you know that time or entire that period your your total equity value has been reduced or you know has been reduced to five percent from the top or from the peak till that period all right now what i'm trying to say is let's say take an example here now this is my peak and this is it going down all the way to here so this is 40 40 46 percent now this is my drawdown okay so drawdown means a reducing in your equity value from the peak from the peak of that period Till that period, what was the peak? From that peak, the percentage of reducing in the equity value is called drawdown. Nothing else, basically. So let's jump into the calculation. Probably there you will get to know in a better way to understand it. How to calculate drawdown? So what I'm trying to do it here. Here I have a data from 2015 to 2020. Um, you know what? What exactly I am doing it here is a kind of uh, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, first. I'm just trying to calculate my equities value. So this is my PNL, and this is my um, you know cumulative. This is my equity values because I have started with 150,000 into my um, uh, into my trading account. So I started with 150,000, and I got a PNL of three three thousand five zero four. So definitely my my equity value in my trading account has gone up to uh, increased by 3504 which is 153 and 504 now now next day again i got uh, 9550 so my equity value got increased to 160054 so this way my equity value is keep increasing or decreasing this is my 
cumulative value or total equity value in my trading account for each day now i'm calculating what is my peak for each day so peak means till that day what is my total maximum value now here what i'm saying max of f2 and f3 so till that day what is my maximum value obviously this is my maximum value now till that day obviously from here to here what is my maximum value my maximum value is 163 which is this one now till here if you see what is my maximum value now i am saying from here to here my maximum value is 17546 which is um, this one so now I, I got to know that for each date what is my maximum value or the peak for till that period okay now i just calculate the drawdown so simply the percentage change from my peak till that period to my uh, you know the equity values so simply f3 by g3 minus 1 so this is my drawdown so i i often got uh, in a lot of videos in youtube and somewhere here and there so uh, people are making this so complicated to you know make understand this is so simple to understand you know uh, because what you need to do basically you just need to calculate the uh, you know the peak for for each day till that period and then you have to just calculate the percentage change with respect to your equities value that's it you got your drawdown so now once you got that you will take a max drawdown uh, you know you, you are just cal calculating the minimum value of this and uh, you just you just get the value minimum of all the things which is 6.47 I'm, I'm just removing the minus sign so i just put a minus of minimum so i just 6.47 that's it you got your maximum drawdown here i think somewhere um, here i just highlighted so here you go so this is my maximum drawdown from 2015 2020 you know and this is so easy to calculate and there is no rocket science in it so it is very understand so what exactly this 6.47 point means this push point this 6.47 uh, percentage means that for from 2015 2020 there is a maximum your equity value will go down by 6.47 percentage from your peak from your top value of or the peak value till that period that's it you know this 6.47 percent but someone should not say that 6.47 percent will reduce in my equity from 1 lakh 50,000 no it is not it will reduce or it 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 has been gone down from my peak till that period okay so if you see what is the peak till that period so till that period my peak is 387 368 and that day my my equity value was 360 to 292 so obviously there is a drawdown of 6.47 percentage and now what i did here i just calculated the same thing in four different way okay i'm just, I, I have just calculated this drawdown in four different way to make you understand that you know either way you will calculate you will get the same drawdown but here mostly um, you know i did this equity value 150000 constant in each each year what it mean is every year on 31st of december i wiped out everything from from my uh, account and put it again 150000 to my account with a fresh uh, you know trading so that's how that's how what i did here is i'm just removing everything again i'm starting with from so a, 150,000 as a capital. Now, in, again, in 2000, start of the 2017, I will again put 150,000, and whatever the value will be there in my trading account, 225,870, I will uh, take it away. You know, so this is how e, this is how I calculated, and this is you know uh, year-wise your um, you know max drawdown. So, so same formula here. What I did. I have just calculated my. I started the capital is one fifty thousand, and then uh, you know, um, then I obviously uh, that then I added my PNL with my equities. I will get it all those equity one by one because uh, I'm accumulating with these things, right? So in the same way, I just I just put this is my you know um, option one or you can say the one way to calculate i i just put simply f4 which is my equity divided by 
uh, till that time what is my peak period which is max of this to this minus one so in one line you will calculate your drawdown okay in fact in one line you can calculate your drawdown and then you will take a minimum of this you will get the drawdown if you see here I just take a minimum of this and then I will get the drawdown this is one way to calculate the another way as I told you here right you have to calculate the peak first and then you will calculate the drawdown so I just calculate the peak as a max of this and then I calculate the drawdown and then I take here as a minimum of these values then I get the definitely the drawdown now here in option 3 what you need to do instead of uh, you know so uh, definitely you can also calculate the uh, max of f3 f4 um, you know uh, I think and then you will just calculate the same way like uh, you know instead of f4 j4 minus 1 what you need to do you need to just calculate 1 by f4 by j4 and then you will take a max of this instead of minimum you are taking a maximum because here what I am doing I am just in, instead of f4 by j4 minus 1 I am doing 1 by f4 by j4 so you obviously will take a maximum value of this but you will get the same result here if you see here in option 3 I am putting maximum value of all these things but you, you will get the result same now in option 4 instead of you have an absolute value of your equity um, if you have a percentage definitely also you can by using the percentage you can also calculate you know the max I mean the drawdown and then you can calculate the um, the max drawdown so as you as you can see here so the max drawdown for all the uh, you know year is exactly same so whichever method you will use so I hope uh, this video will make you understand uh, what exactly a drawdown is and how to calculate the drawdown in excel uh, for different way and uh, you know my next video is uh, i will show you how to calculate drawdown in python and how to write a function in python to calculate drawdown um, but honestly speaking i think in excel it is better way to understand and to um, you know to implement it in in your um, uh, project and all so um, I often got a question from a lot of people that how to do that and what is a drawdown is uh, so I think I explain you all the things and you just go through this video and I'm going to upload this uh, file into my github account you can download there and you can have a look w whatever the questions you have you can put down in the comment I'll definitely get back to you and I love to make, make some videos on different topic as well so keep supporting me and just subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching this video thanks